how does it mean to think people are always thinking and talking about thinking as well so how does it mean to think today we will examine the process of thinking and then how it can change our lives hello everyone i'm shivdasan welcome to manasam your very own channel fully dedicated to the health and welfare of each one of us thinking or cognition can be defined as mental activity that it takes place in the brain when a person processes information organize it understand it and communicate to others thinking includes memory but it is much more when people think they are not only aware of information in the brain but also make decision about it compare it with other information and use it to solve problems also how often do you simply react to the things you do say or think without knowing or why you do them how much of your conscious experience involves effortful careful attention and decision making to fully understand how we do anything be it learning understanding or behaving we need to understand how we think how do we organize our thoughts how do we communicate those thoughts to others what do we mean by intelligence why do some people learn so much faster than others during most of our waking hours and when we are asleep and dreaming we are thinking it is hard not to think when you hear these words from me you are thinking even if you stop thinking about what you are hearing and your thoughts wander to something else maybe what you are going to do tomorrow you are still thinking thought is an integral part of human life the definition of the concept was received in ancient times what we do when we think simply put we may say that we process information mentally or cognitively more formally we might say that thinking consists of the cognitive reorganization or manipulation of information from the environment and the symbols stored in long term memory a symbol represents or stands for some event or item in the world as we will see much of our thinking uses images and language symbols the general definition of thinking just mentioned covers several types of thought for example some thinking is highly private and may use symbols that have a very personal meaning this type of thinking is called autistic thinking and dreams are such an example other thinking aims to solve problems or create new ones this is called direct thinking as a person thinks in front of a chess board it is a kind of thinking you engage in when you solve or try to solve the problem what is going on in his head what is he thinking anyway when you think about these questions what goes through your head it is also the type of thought that we value so much in the great human thinkers as a child grows thinking and language go through various stages of development you may please refer my earlier videos for stages of development in psychology please stay tuned with me for more captivating topics filled with wisdom and insightful information on our health and well-being please like subscribe and share this video with others who may find this subject very important and interesting also please share your valuable thoughts in the comment section below thanks a lot